Polls are officially open in Burundi for the presidential election there. Incumbent Pierre Nkurunziza is running for a controversial third term that his opponents and the international community have condemned. Blasts were reported overnight around the capital, Bujumbura. Haru Matassa has more from the capital now. Haru, uh, bring us up to date with, with what's been happening overnight there. Well, Monday during the day, there were a lot of police on the streets, a lot more than usual. And they say they were walking around in certain trouble spots, volatile neighborhoods, looking for weapons. There was a rumor going around in the capital that people must be home before it gets dark because there could be trouble. And sure enough, there was. At about 10 p.m. local time, we heard a lot of gunfire, a lot of loud explosions. We told some people died overnight during this fight. And we don't know who was fighting who, what exactly was happening, but we do know that there was a lot of trouble. Tuesday morning, the polls have opened at this particular polling station. Numbers are very, very small, a few people trickling in. A lot of opposition parties say they are boycotting these elections. But that said, some people are coming in slowly, one by one, to cast their vote. It's a very interesting election because President Pierre Kurunziza has said he's running for a third term despite it violates the constitution that's angered a lot of people here. Some people feel this election should not be happening. They say he shouldn't be running for a third term because it goes against the country's constitution. Darren? Yeah, and despite uh, all the controversy, the election is still going ahead, Haru. Exactly. I've covered a lot of elections in Africa and I must say this has been an election where there's been a lot of pressure for Pierre Nkurunziza not to run for this third term. You had the international community of the United Nations, the African Union has even said they don't agree with what's happening here. But that said, he's still gone ahead with it. And the big concern for people here is those soldiers who attempted a coup in May, it failed, but they attempted to remove him from power. They have crossed the border into neighboring Rwanda and they have been saying on and off that they are coming back, they're going to try and remove him from power. If they make good on that threat, a lot of people, especially in the, in the capital, are concerned there could be violence. A lot of international mediators, international figureheads have said they are really scared that this country is on the brink of a civil war. Because if those soldiers do decide to make good their threat, if they come into the country and remove him or try to remove him, this kind of could descend into violence. Another big concern, those who got into exile, the former vice president, the, small, the former speaker of parliament, key politicians, key opposition leaders are in exile. They are forming a transitional national council, a parallel government, so they say, and they're saying they are on standby to come in when Kurunzil is removed. Kurunzil says he's not going anywhere. He's saying he's staying put. He says he's going to win this election. A lot of people wait to see what happens in the next few days. Darren. Haru, thank you.